in our new topic the new cell organelle called as plastids plastids are the group of organelles which show the storage and synthesis of various various chemical substances plastids were first discovered sorry first the term plastid was first given by hackel in 1866 plastids are double membranous organelle they contain dna as like that of mitochondria and they occur in plants algae and some marine animals now let us see the origin of plastids long <coughs> billion years ago the plastids are originated in eukaryotic cell by the process called as endosymbiosis during the course of evolution the process called as endosymbiosis now let us see what is endosymbiosis consider there is a photosynthetic bacteria which is trying uh, the consider photosynthetic bacteria which is engulfed by a eukaryote eukaryote is engulfing a photosynthetic bacteria after endocytosis what happens instead of digesting that photosynthetic bacteria the eukaryote kept as kept as it is and this it gets converted into plastid and in this plastid one membrane of this organism inner membrane and outer membrane of this eukaryotic cell becomes the plasma membrane so plastid is a double membrane structure okay containing dna now next the plastids are originated from proplastids proplastids are present in meristematic tissue meristematic cell and these proplastids they are rounded circular having 1 micrometer in diameter and these are of two types number 1 called as germinal proplastid number 2 nodule proplastid germinal proplastids are present in the plant embryos in the seeds nodule proplastids are present in the root nodules the germinal proplastid also contains gibberellic acid which help full in the meristematic metabolism and nodule proplastid help in nitrogen fixation next schimper in 1883 classified plastids into three types chloroplast leucoplast and chromoplast but before studying these three plastids let us know about etioplast first etioplast are the proto <coughs> etioplast are the intermediate state etioplast are the intermediate states in the way of differentiation from proplast to chloroplast so in bit in between proplast and chloroplast there is a intermediate state this intermediate state is called as etioplast now why this etioplasts are intermediate because when there is low light intensity proplast are get converted into etioplast and when there is high light intensity these etioplast are get converted into chloroplast so at high light intensity etioplasts are differentiated to form chloroplast etioplasts are present in shoot absent in root so this is about etioplast now next chloroplast chloroplasts are the <coughs> chlorophyll bearing plastids present in all green plants and the detailed study of chloroplast we we are going to study in the next lecture now next leucoplast leucos means colorless plast means molded so the colorless plastids are called as leucoplast these leucoplasts are again classified into three types the starch storing leucoplast are called as amyloplast the oil storing leucoplast are called as eleoplast and the protein storing leucoplast are called as alleuroplast now let us see one by one number 1 amyloplast amyloplast are the plastids which are double membranous and here you can see there is storage of starch number 1 they are present in uh, potato rice wheat etc now second function of this amyloplast is gravity sensor in the root they act as gravity sensor and number 3 nitrogen fixation in some plants amyloplast is concerned with nitrogen fixation second eleoplast the oil storing plastids are called as eleoplast oil storing uh, plastids are called as eleoplast these are present in oil seeds in citrus and as well as in anthers of some flowering plants in anthers of some flowering plants therefore pollen maturation is one of the function of eleoplast so two functions number one oil storage second pollen maturation is the function of eleoplast as there is oil storage eleoplast are also called as oleoplast number third alleuroplast as the name suggest these are present in the alleuron layer layer of maize grain 
aluron layer of mesograin therefore they are termed as alleuroplast okay and the main function of alleuroplast is protein storage therefore as they store proteins they are also called as proteinoplast so these are the three types of leucoplast colorless plast is one for storage of starch another for oil and the last is for protein now the colored plastid we are going to study is chromoplast chroma means color see the color of the plant is due to chromoplast chromoplast are the higher advanced state of chloroplast chloroplast may get differentiated into chromoplast chromoplasts along with Uh, chlorophylls they also contain carotenes and xanthophylls and as carotenes and xanthophyll gives red orange yellow color therefore the plants appear different in color this is about chromoplast okay now <coughs> apart from these plastids that is etioplast chloroplast leucoplast and chromoplast some another type of plastids are also present number 1 gerontoplast so gerontoplast is nothing but the degradation dismantling of the chlor chloroplast during senescence or during aging process or during death of the leaf so during the death of the leaf what happens this chloroplast undergoes autophagy and gets converted into plastid called as gerontoplast now the next is muroplast muroplast are present in the glaucocystophyta algae Muroplasts are present in the Glaucocystophyta algae. In this algae, in between the two membranes, as we know that plastids are double membrane structure. In between these two membranes, a vestigial membrane present called as peptidoglycan. So, such type of plastid in which there is outer and inner membrane and a vestigial membrane that is peptidoglycan is present in Glaucocystophyta algae. Such plastids are called as Muroplast. The next one is T and S plastids. T and S plastids are present in few cells of phloem and they respond to the wounds. T and S type of plastids are present in the few cells of phloem and they respond to wounds. Next is Rhodoplast. Rhodoplasts are present in red algae. The red <coughs> colored pigment called as phycoerythrin is present and the examples are Batrachospermum, Sargassum, Polysyponia, etc. So these are all red algae. So red algae is phycoerythrin is present and the plastids is called as Rhodoplast. Next is Kleptoplast. One more interesting story about this Kleptoplast is a marine gastropod called as Elysia chlorotica when it eats a <coughs> green algae then what happens instead of digesting it the <coughs> green algae is incorporated with this marine gastropod or mollusk and due to photosynthesis it take food material from green algae so such type of plastid kleptoplast which photosynthesizes for this organism that is elasia chlorotica are called as klepto Uh, plast so kleptoplast are present marine mollusk or marine gastropod called as elasia chlorotica now finally apicoplast apicoplast are present in a parasitic plasmodium apicoplast are present in the parasitic organism called as plasmodium so this is about plastids finally plastid term was given by hackel in 1866 dhanyawad thank you